to do with you Domino's Pizza and um, you can see the symbol DPZ and you can just type it in Google everything is you know I get from Google and you can see that DPZ is a symbol and you can buy it for 261.51 US dollar for one stock that's current price and uh, it's in market cap is in billions that means it's a big firm and um, the dividend yield is 0.99 percent um, although it's a very little percent it's even less than one percent dividend but still I just want to point out that it means any firm who pays dividend that suggests that the firm is financially very very strong so it's a very positive sign this means that after paying their costs liabilities creditors they still have extra money left that extra money they give give to shareholders um, as dividends so if a firm is paying a dividend that means that they are very financially strong this is brilliant so you know um, so don't worry about the percentage let's look at uh, when was it founded I'll just click to Wikipedia and um, then I'll just go to this box in the Wikipedia you can see founded 1960 that's brilliant I'll go back now and uh, I just want to copy this part um, straight from Google and um, I'll just paste here indeed reviews I want to read the reviews in indeed now let's click there let's see what employees have to say about it there are nearly 20,400 reviews which is plenty of reviews and it's 3.6 stars so it's above average this is brilliant you can just go through the reviews yourself and have a look and see what employees have to say about it now I want to have a look at the glass door reviews let's have a look and how many reviews it's 364 reviews it's not a lot of reviews as compared to indeed but still they are 2.9 star nearly three stars and you can just go through the reviews yourself to know what employees have to think about it now let's look at yahoo finance and i want to look at the key executives and what salaries they're getting and stuff like that so i'll just click there i'll go to profile and i will read the sector the industry and the employees and you can see there are five key executives and all of their salaries have been shown this is brilliant because that means that the firm is very transparent it has given all the information regarding salaries it hasn't it is not hiding anything so it builds a lot of trust let's go to just here patents and see if this firm have any patents because patents uh, means that the firm is very powerful it's you know it's very very it's innovating it's very uh, it's trying to innovate all the time and it's very strong it has a moat so the more patents a firm has the the more stronger it is so i can see um i'm not interested in the inventor because these are people who have invented it but they don't have the full rights i'm interested in assignee or applicant because these are people who have the full rights so in 1990 it has um a patent 1988 it has a patent 86 2010 which is and uh, 2004 2002 stuff like that and um, I just want to make sure that is Domino's Pizza same as Domino's PMC because I'll just search in Google and see have a look uh, all right so uh, Domino's PMC Inc and uh, I'll just have a look yes it is same I think it's the same thing so um, it has patents in uh, 2004 to stuff like that so you can just go through the list yourself it's a big list and um, just make sure do they have recent patents because that means they're still innovating um, because are they still innovating that's very important as well so you, you can just go through yourself and let's look at macro trend that's a brilliant website for ratios um, click price ratio and price book ratio and then just paste in the um, symbol DPZ um, I think D what's the symbol let's have a look I'm not sure it's um it's DPZ yes D P Z so uh, this um, website don't have any I guess um, don't have yeah it has DPZ I don't know why it wasn't appearing okay Domino's Pizza Inc. and I want to have a look at price ratio and price book ratio and let's see sometimes it takes a lot of time to load so you need to be patient because it has a lot of data but it's a very brilliant website uh, in the meantime I'll just explain you what to look for price book ratio 
if it's less than one that means the stock is undervalued it's a discount and it's a sale you must buy it if it's less than one if it's one that means that the stock is of its real worth uh, it means it's not expensive so you must buy it as well because at least you're not buying it expensive and if it's more than one that means the stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets so please let me know if I'm going through the video very fast because you know I'll just slow down right now you can see it's zero price books ratio is zero so um, I'll let you know about that and it's minus so I'll just ignore the minus part because that's uh, uh, just ignore the minus part and assume that it's 3.95 so it tells me that um, in June 2019 it's like nearly four times more expensive to buy the stock nearly four times so you can see that uh, somebody who bought that time the book value is minus seventy dollars so it's not even one dollar and um, the price the people are paying is uh, 278 dollars to buy something that is minus 70 dollar worth so you need to be careful about that so it has always been a minus book value and uh, the price uh, compared to that is all has always been higher so you know it's it's an expensive stock i would say then go to other ratios look at current ratio Current ratio, if it's less than 1, that means that's very risky stock. If it's 1.5 or more than that, that means it's a safe stock. Let it load. Please let me know if you want me to cover anything in particular. Or if you have any questions for me, please leave um, below the video. Just comment below the video. Or if you would like to discuss with me regarding something, please go to my YouTube discussion channel and start any discussion. And I'll be happy to reply. right now the current ratio is 1.56 which means it's above 1.5 so it's a safe stock in June 2019 but I'm also interested in looking at the previous trends if I just have a look it's 1.43 it's a little bit less than 1.5 so I don't mind that and um, stuff like that so it's below 1.5 yes it's below 1.5 um, so I can see there's fluctuations, there's no consistency as such. Um, so it's up to you to decide if you want to, you know, what you want to do with it because it's very a lot of fluctuations I would say. And um, so you need to be careful about it. But right now it's, it's a safe stock, it's more than 1.5. But uh, you know, you need to be careful because if you just see the right now stuff, maybe next month it's below 1.5 so um because it's fluctuating so we need to look at recent five years at least so but if i just see recent five years it has been very low um, below 1.5 and then above 1.5 so there's a lot of fluctuations so let's see the debt equity ratio this ratio tells me if the firm is mainly operating on debt or equity we are looking at 0.5 or less than that point to be very safe let it load first
okay right now we're looking for 0.5 or less than that um i can see that it's minus 1.24 if i just just see vertically up i can see the equity is in minus minus it's in uh, uh, minus two and debt is 3.6 that is a lot more than equity so it means it's a danger stock so um if i just go back and i can see that you know there's a lot of debt compared to equity equity is has always been minus and so from 2005 up till now since recent 14 years the equity has been always in minus and there's always been long-term debt and which is always greater than equity so it's a very dangerous stock let's go to return on equity I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be very good Okay, I'm looking for 8% or more than that. Right now it's uh, less than 8%, it's in minus. So if I see from 2005 up till now, 14 years, it has been always a minus equity. So this is not a good sign. So you need to make your own judgments. 